Hey guys, it's me, Adriana. Welcome back to another episode or another video on the Vet Critters. And today we are doing Green Tree Frog slash Smith Reed Frog Care with the help of one of my little buddies. His name is Kiwi, so we are going to have a look at him. So. Let's take us a look where he is. They're great hiders. So don't 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 be surprised if you can't find them. Right there is Kim. Little frogs there. Let's go over the setup. And there is also a lot of supplies. Well not a lot, but a, some supplies you're going to need. Let's go over the supplies you'll need. You'll need jungle soil. Some zelian, I don't know how to say it, zelia moss, dried moss would be nice too because my frog loves it, that, that yellow stuff right there. A water bowl, crickets, a tank, a thermometer, a lock for your tank, some plants, live or not, crickets, a misting bottle, water, the frog, and a humidity gauge. You can also use lights, but Kiwi doesn't really have lights because my house is really warm. Though I still recommend using lights. And, as you can see, a background. There doesn't have to be a background, but my frog loves his, like, it's actually like a foam background detailed one. And he loves it. Let's go over some more stuff. Actually, we're going to go over why you need all the supplies. For the tank, it's pretty obvious. It is the item that's going to house your frog. The frog is, well, because it would just be an empty tank without a frog. And what's the point of getting all this stuff? Next, your humidity, gauges, gauges, and thermometer. This is important to be able to tell everything. They are tropical animals. Well, not, they're kind of like tropical animals, pretty much. I consider them tropical because they're like a tree frog, so I consider them tropical. So, you're going to need those in order to like know the temperature and how much humidity is in the tank. The water bowl is going to hold his water. The background is stuff for the frog to climb on. The plant is a hiding spot and just decorations. The soil is in the bottom of the tank as like the substrate the locks for the tank keep the tank closed and keep the frog unable to get out let's go over the misting bottle here is our misting bottle now i'm going to show you how not to spray it you untwist the cap almost all the way i'm just spraying the backer see how hard that is that's going to hurt your frog instead tighten it like this you can see how gently that's going in like a mist. First, I like to spray this. Then, spray the substrate. Spray his background. Spray his plants. And then, you, if the frog is not in the water bowl, I give him water doing this. I shoot the hard streams in there very slowly and gently. His bowl will get filled up. Make sure your frog is not in the bowl before you do this because if you shoot it hard, it could possibly hurt the frog and overload them with too much water and can drown them if you like have a very small tank. So now we're gonna move the frog. You don't wanna handle your frogs too much as it takes a lot of moisture out of their bodies, and they need all that moisture. So here he is, Kiwi. Hi, puppies. He's climbing up my hand. No. So I've placed him on the floor. I'm going to kind of close this part of his gate so he can escape. So, oh, and see, that's why I closed that. So now we're going to open it up again because I moved him to miss the spot that he commonly sits in. So his spot is misted, and then we're just going to kind of do that. 
and then kind of just miss him too. And then we can close up his tank and be done with it. Now, I'm going to show you how to feed your frog. This piece of supplies is very, very important, especially for multiple frogs. I'll show you why. A small mini terrarium with an extra little lid. Now, this extra lid is actually in, well, this little lid. So, I already fed him, so I can't feed him, but this is how I like I attempt to feed my leopard gecko too. You put some crickets in there. Make sure you have count of how many crickets are in there. Or write it down on a sheet. Next, put your lid on. And then quickly grab your frog up and put them in there. Never put the frog in first. So it can jump out while you're putting the crickets in. Now that you've done this, you can officially close the lid tightly and go away for a little bit. Because watching your frog might make them uncomfortable. Also, before you put the crickets in, be sure to take a little bit of water like this. Just kind of dabble it on the bottom. It encourages the fr I think it encourages the frog to stay at the bottom where it is moister and where the food is. The crickets are going to slip around too, so I think it makes it easier for them. I don't know if that's true, but I, I, th that's my personal opinion. You don't have to spray it, but I always do that to help keep him moist since you do absorb some of the moisture out of his body into your skin when you put him in. So, that's why I do that. After you leave him alone for a little bit, I leave mine alone for a total of 15 or 25 minutes. If you come back and none is eaten, you might want to give him more time, about 10 more minutes. If he hasn't eaten, he might not be hungry. We're not ready to eat yet. You can try again later. And if he's still not eating anything and be losing weight, then talk to your exotic veterinarian. Or, of course, watch some of the new videos that I'm going to be uploading about kiwi and its species. Now, I actually have no clue what kiwi's species is. I know he's either a green tree frog or a smith's reed frog. And so this is like their care. Okay, so if, if he did eat some, then you can put him back. You can either put the crickets back into the cricket bin or put them in his cage. I prefer to put them in his cage so he can hunt in there. But it can be difficult for him to hunt in there, which is why allowing him to be able to hunt in the smaller container where the crickets have less room to hide is what I think is best. It also works on other le reptiles like leopard geckos or bearded dragons. My beardy, we had to do that with my old beardy and he loved it. Well, it wasn't exactly easy, but it helped him a little. He had a neurological problem with his neck, so. Yeah. Okay, so. Taking care of the frog is not too hard at all. And it's actually very easy. Next, I'm going to show you his lid. You need a good tank. My tank generally has two openings. This is the main opening, but on top, there are these small brackets that you spin out of place. After you spin them out of place, the lid is very easy to take off. You have access to the cage from the front of it. Now I'm going to put the lid on. Once you've closed his lid, attempt to take the lid off, pulling your, not super hard, but tugging on it. And if it doesn't open, your cage is good and locked, and you're ready to go. If you have any questions, about their care, then feel free to comment below and I reply to everybody's comments. Also, if you're having enough, and also, if I don't reply right away, then wait about three days. I reply as much as I can. 
and I can reply a lot. Also, if this video was helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you have didn't get a good look at Kiwi, then watch the video that says Bella not Kiwi or what a cute little blank. It's actually a cute little frog. It was just some sort of little introduction joke for Kiwi. I feel like he's a little joker. He's also kind of funny and cute and silly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. <coughs> and, well, bye guys.